We are back here on Girl Talk. Don Rosa Miller has joined us from the Bluffton School of Dance. You look so elegant and beautiful, doesn't oh, she? Thank you. She is. She, she is. is. <laughs> That's how she is. Well, I have to tell you, I know a bunch of young women who dance with you and yes. a couple of the boys, and you've had a heck of a summer this year. And yeah. talk to us a little bit about the School of Dance and what you all do. And when, when did you start yeah. it? The, the school was actually started in 1999, but I did not live here yet. It was started by my friend Ashley Bozard, and I took over in 2003 after I graduated from Clemson. So it's been 11 years oh for me. Oh my gosh. I mean, it has grown it has and grown and grown. It has just boomed with the town. We are over 350 kids right now. What kind of dance? Uh, because Sarah, my little, Sarah Ogren, hi Sarah, is like, <laughs> well, we do hip hop, we do jazz, we do tap, oh, we yes. do ballet. A little bit of everything. Yeah, a little bit of everything. <laughs> exactly. We do, we try to do a little bit of everything, create a well-rounded dancer, but our, our peanuts start in ballet. And, and we try to keep that <laughs> through until they graduate high school, keep that ballet training in there, because it's the start of everything. I was gonna say, is ballet where you start? I, I wish it I is. could dance. You're it a dancer. It is, it's like your tree trunk. Mm -hmm. You need the, the roots, you need that, that strong tree trunk to be able to do the fun, lyrical, contemporary, the stuff you see on the shows, like So You Think You Can Dance. Yeah, you, you have That's to do ballet first. Jen's got two little girls, and you've got a little girl. At what age She's do you... done. She has. Liliana oh, did her did first her. little That's thing. She, she did, did tiny dance. Yeah, Aww. this the summer. Two-year-olds. Yeah. Oh. I have a picture of her, so proud in her ballet slippers and her leotard and their tights, and just. And they just look like no, little you bubble have to gum. do this. You oh did. She, you said she did one day. She came in. Oh, she was just sashing. <laughs> <laughs> and then she oh, was yeah. in the back of the car the other day and going dance. We go dance. We go dance, Yay. and I was like, oh, "All righty," because you're does, not really quite sure. There. They're they're taking, they're absorbing so much, and yep. it's really fun to observe. But it yeah. was something that I think, you know, as as you could tell, as each class was yeah. going by, she was getting more and more into it. It was really. So, great. what age do you start, and what do you recommend, and where do you start, and all that? Good Crazy stuff? enough, we start at two, okay. and they go in without their moms. They go in the room, and they get used to being in a classroom environment. That's they right. do a little ballet, a little. Yeah little creative movement and um, and then we keep going up. You go through the preschool program then they, when they get into elementary school they add in some jazz or some tumbling. Um, mm -hmm. They start hip-hop at eight. They're allowed to start hip-hop at eight. What is yeah. hip-hop? I hear it all the time. Look at, look at you, look at me. The best description <laughs> would be like what you see in music videos or um, you know good. most of your pop okay. performers. Cool are, dancing. Those are the background yeah. dancers. Thank you. That's what I really like that. Is it cool? Yes. Cool dancing. Yes and we have um, we sometimes get our dads to hip hop in our recital at the end of the year. We oh, do a fun. dance dance. Mm -hmm. So I, would I mean, you do competitions <laughs> oh, yes. and oh. recitals. No, and, yeah. uh, not yet. I know. I've, I've probably missed the window, and now they won't be able to dance. What so, are the dance classes? classes? No. Oh, for me. Oh, God, I don't know if there's help for me out there. But no, I meant for the kids. They're five and seven, so we were kind of late getting in on the dance trend. Um, you know what? You can get in at any yeah. time, and I think. Um, that's been shown a lot now. You have Misty Copeland, who's an ABT yes. dancer, and she didn't start until she was, I think, 13 or something oh, wow. like that. All right, there's hope. There You're is. There's, there's hope. hope. <laughs> they, they can get started whenever. Can anybody dance, girl or boy? Because I know you've got yes. some boys in there that build all the classes. Um, I think great. that's wow. really yeah. cool. That's awesome. We have a five to eight group of boys on Saturday. They do hip hop and tumbling. Oh, and then we have some boys that do compete with us. We have three boys that are in our company and our performance group this year. I laugh because so. when my son, I think was like maybe in fifth grade or sixth grade, we sent him to a dance class. Okay. I swear it set the tone for his entire teenagehood and made him so cool. Oh yeah. Because he could dance. You can right. dance. And if you're the it one boy really in neat. class, you have all these girls. Exactly. Right. It gives you <laughs> access. Something. I mean, yeah. there's something to be said for that. Oh, no, because Mike's you're over there going, yeah. Hmm. I'm going to sign up for hip hop, Mike. Go Are you going to sign up? I know. Yeah, see? <laughs> no, but I think it gives you confidence when you're around the opposite sex more, then you get that comfort level, you yes. know, for when they're older, it's a more natural thing. Yeah. Don, if people are excited to do dance and have their kids involved in dance, how do they track you down? Well, um, the best way to reach us is email or on Facebook. We are. Um, very big on Facebook. Okay. We're, we're a fan of social media. Uh, we do start classes this week. So I was going to say, what's the next schedule? So the next session starts We do. Week, we okay. do our dance year follows the public school year. So okay. we start classes this week and we go through May. Okay. We do two shows throughout the school year, uh, one around the holidays and one in the spring. So you have room to have your kids go up and showcase their talents. Um, but email us at bluftonschooldance at gmail.com and we can get whoever, two years all the way through adults signed up. 
There's and something we'll for sure, everybody, there really. Is. And we'll make sure when Liliana is in her next production that everyone has a heads up. That's right. Oh, yeah. Tickets will go on sale. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> in her costume and everything. Shoo, fly, don't bother me. Shoo, fly, don't bother me. Stay with us. We'll be right back.